Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, another piece of theory I want to cover with um, Trig is the unit circle, okay? Because again, um, not, the, not the easiest until you get your head wrapped around it. Okay, so the unit circle, it is here in your log tables on page 13. Okay, and it is just that. It's where you have a radius of one and you come out and you can make all sorts of comments from the unit circle. Um, so example, yeah, so any point on the unit circle is literally cos A sin A, okay? Um, where A is the angle. And we always start our measure from what's called the positive sense of the x-axis, okay? So what does that mean? Well, that's your x-axis. This is the positive side. This is the negative side. So we always start the positive side of the x-axis. And we would have done this by default way back in national school when we were starting to measure angles, okay? So if you ever measure angles in, in, a, in a pie chart, for example, we tend to always start here and go around and we never really knew why, okay? So it's just one of those traditions that's done, those um, rule of thumbs that's done. So you start all your angles from here, okay? So any point on the unit circle is cos A sin A. You remember it as Christian name, surname, okay? Um, cos A sin A. And we'll come back to that whole idea again. But the unit circle I want to do with you for now is what's called cast, okay? And cast tells us what happens sign and cause in any of those um, in any of those quadrants. So this one is called the first quadrant. I don't know why I stuck it up in the corner because it would be much handier if it was out of there. Okay. Okay, so we have the first quadrant here. Second quadrant, you can see everything happens anti-clockwise third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Okay. Um, not degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, back to 360 degrees. Okay. So you've done a full rotation when you've gone the whole way around. There is another measure of angle called radiance. Okay, and um, very much used in any kind of construction or um, engineering or so on and so forth. Um, and basically a radian, one radian is whatever your radius is. Let me see if I can draw this. Whatever your radius is, you go up by that amount. Okay, so your arc length equals your radius length. You don't have to know that, but that's where the word radian comes out of. And when you work in radians, you tend not to have decimal points um, and it's more accurate. Okay, so radian measure then um, is 2 pi equates to 360 degrees. Okay, and, and make sure you're in radian mode on your calculator. You'll always know a question is working in radians rather than degrees when you see the pi symbol in the question. So if 360 degrees is 2 pi, then 180 degrees is pi, 90 degrees is pi over 2, and then this is 1.5 pi's or 3 pi over 2. Okay, and if you just know your two pi and even your pi. You can always put this diagram up in the corner of any question you get um, and figure it out. Now, it is in the log tables anyway. On page 13, you can see they do degrees and they do radians and they do the main angles. Okay, or of course your calculator does it. Um, so that's 
radians and that's your unit circle. OK, so so what else do we need to know about this unit circle? And, and why did I tell, say, um, cast gives you what happens sine, cos and tan in, in each of the um, in each of the quadrants? OK, so in in the first quadrant, A stands for all. OK, so what does that mean? Well, let me just change color here now. So that means cos is positive. It tells you which trig identity will be positive in that quadrant. In other words, if you get cos of an angle between 0 and 90 degrees, OK, so I'm pulling up my, my calculator here and I'm going cos of 50, OK, you can see you get a positive answer. OK, if you get sine of an angle between 0 and 90, you get a positive angle and tan of any angle between 0 and 90, you get a positive answer. Move across to quadrant two. It's telling me that a sine is positive. OK, um, cos is negative, tan is negative. So remember what cast tells you. It tells you which ones are positive. OK, um, down here. And, and just to try that out, I want you just on your calculator to go cos of 110 degrees, for example, and you get minus 0 0.34. OK, and you do it because that angle is between 90 and 180. OK, so you're going to get a minus answer for cos of an angle between 90 and 180. You, I'd expect um, a positive answer for sine and then a negative answer for tan. OK, and the third quadrant is the same. You can see T for tan. So um, cos is going to be negative. Sine is going to be negative. Tan is going to be positive. OK, and then here cos is positive. Sine is negative. Tan is negative. So if you look around the unit circle, you'll see um, cos is positive in two of them. OK. Sine is positive in two of them. Tan is positive in two of them. And so on and so forth. OK, so you have two quadrants for. You have two quadrants for every plus one. OK. Um, OK. Now. Yeah, no, that's all I need to say on that. I think we'll say anything else I need to say. I'm going to say with an exam question. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.